Welcome. Uh, I've got a special gift for you, a daily dose of Stephen A. Smith uh, today. Stephen A. Smith is going viral uh, for saying something stupid that furthers my point, and it proves why I call him Stephen A. Myth. Uh, let's watch Stephen A. Smith talk about Quentin Grimes and what he expects from Quentin Grimes uh, on the New York Knicks. Let's play the clip. I'm looking at Grimes. He's looked good. I'm looking at Isaiah Hartenstein as a reserve, giving you activity off the bench. I'm looking at Mitchell Robinson being here on the court, back on the court. So I've told you all that if Stephen A. Smith's mouth is moving, he's likely lying. I've told you all that he's been installed, that he knows nothing about sports. Stephen A. Smith's brand is built around his expertise as it relates to basketball. You sure about that? You sure about that? He has no expertise as it relates to basketball. Grimes hasn't been on the New York Knicks for months. Stephen A. Smith goes on national television day after day after day during the NBA season pretending he's a huge New York Knicks fan. Pretending that he knows something about basketball. Pretending that he played college basketball under the legendary Big House Gaines at Winston-Salem State University. Grimes hasn't been on the team for months. The Isaiah guy he mentioned is a starter for the Knicks. He's not coming off the bench. Stephen A. Smith is a plant. Stephen A. Smith has been installed, not for, no, he, not for knowing anything about sports. We've seen this time and time again. We saw him talk about uh, an NFL tight end and his matchup <laughs> against Derrick Johnson. And neither guy was on either team. He doesn't know what he's talking about. We've seen Stephen A. Smith say, oh, they should have kicked that field goal on third down so they can re-kick it on fourth down if they miss. This man knows nothing about sports. He's installed. There's nothing about Stephen A. Smith's narrative or virtually anything that comes out of his mouth that doesn't need to be incredibly fact-checked. It's virtually all a lie. You thought I was just picking on Stephen A. Smith. You thought I'm jealous of Stephen A. Smith. I'm not jealous. I'm not picking on Stephen A. Smith. I'm trying to wake you up to what the system does. It installs the dumbest people. You'll be listening to some guy. You see, this guy is the people easiest to control in these high profile positions and then they perform an acting job. Stephen A. Smith is an actor pretending that he's a sports expert. He is not. He lied about playing at Winston-Salem State. Yes, I was on a basketball scholarship at Winston-Salem State University my first year there. I cracked my kneecap in half. He lied about... I hit 17 straight shots and got a scholarship. I dropped 17 straight three-pointers. Wow. And he, and he gave me a scholarship on the spot. He's lied about, I got pulled over by police in Troy, Michigan, and uh, the two white people that were with me, they wouldn't give me $9, and I had to call some black woman in Atlanta to get me out of jail, and they sent eight cops to surround me because I had a suspended license. They put me in a squad car. They took me to the precinct in Troy, Michigan, and I was pissed. It's all a lie. He's an agent of chaos who is there to push black men in a certain direction. This isn't me talking out of jealousy or envy. This isn't me pocket watching Stephen A. Smith. When I say I wouldn't want Stephen A. Smith's job, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that to beat my chest. I'm not lying when I say it. You can't pay me any amount of money.
to where my job is dependent upon me lying to the public. All you care about is money. This town deserves a better class of criminals. And I'm gonna give it to them. Misleading the public, getting on TV and telling people to take a vaccine and chastising them for taking a vaccine that's an experimental vaccine. Can't do it. You could never get me to go on TV and you watched it play out in real time. I told you all in real time, when Kyrie Irving and the NBA jumped down his throat over retweeting a movie poster that Jewish people were upset about, I told you in real time, hey, what are they doing? Kyrie Irving can tweet out whatever movie poster he wants. That's crazy. This man has freedom of speech. It's a movie poster. Are we really that controlled? I said that in real time. Day of it happened. What did Stephen A. Smith do? Hopped on TV and chastised uh, Kyrie Irving. Put him on blast. Because he's a puppet. He's controlled. He has to say what he's told. You, you can't pay me $20 million, $30 million, $40 million to lie. It, it, it's just not going to happen. And, and I'm sorry for breaking it down in that way because it makes it about me and it makes it, and this really isn't about me. The message I'm trying to convey to you is be careful of where you get your information and who you trust and quit looking at people's bank accounts and paychecks and judging that as whether, oh, I can trust this person because they're getting paid $15 million. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. No, 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 no. That should be an indicator you shouldn't trust that person. They're being paid to lie to you. As I've explained over and over and over, they don't give you F you money. They give you F me money so they can screw you over anytime they want and they can tell you what to do anytime that they want. That's the money he's been given, F me money. I'm not bitter at Stephen A. Smith. I'm not jealous of Stephen A. Smith. I'm trying to warn you, be careful of these people. Stephen A., Charlemagne, any of these people, they're bought and paid for, they're controlled, they're compromised. This, this, the year, I got, Cat Williams hats off to you. The year of truth is, is finally coming out and maybe now you can understand what I've been saying when you just look at like, this man has sat on TV for years. Oh, I'm a big New York Knicks fan. And I'm the basketball expert. I'm the authority on basketball. He don't even know who's on the Knicks roster. You sit on a throne of lies. He doesn't know who's on the Knicks roster. How many videos have you seen? The ESPN play up. Oh, Stephen A's, he's all upset about the New York Knicks. Watch Stephen A go off about his beloved New York Knicks. You, you see this hat right here? Mm -hmm. You see this hat right here? <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. You damn Knicks. This, I'm, I'm just so happy I'm living in this time when the truth is being exposed. And, and there will be occasional moments where I will, I won't have the discipline not to come on here and say, I told you. I told you so. And it will, occasional. And this is one of those moments. Same thing. Eventually, you guys will figure it out about Deion Sanders. I'm, I'm not picking on Deion. I don't have some jealousy issue with Deion. I don't have hatred of black people. I actually have love of black people. That's why I'm taking all of these bullets, all the mischaracterizations about what my motives are. Why am I critical of Deion? Why am I critical of Stephen A. Smith? Oh, you just hate yourself. No. I actually want you to be informed so we can make better decisions and actually progress. Progress, whatever, did I say? I don't know, move forward. So uh, that's your daily dose of Stephen A. Smith, he's an idiot. 
Uh, this episode is brought to you by our good friends at Good Ranchers. Good Ranchers is locking in your price until 2026 when you subscribe to any of their boxes of 100% American meat and seafood. Use my promo code FEARLESS at GoodRanchers.com and save 10%. Uh, that's it and that's all. Stephen A. Smith, flake, liar, agent of chaos, phony, fraud. Despicable character, someone you shouldn't listen to or take seriously. That's it, I'm done. Like what you saw? Hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the full episode by clicking the link below.